In today's video, we move on to installing the intercoolers and the heat exchangers on the R8 twin turbo project. Welcome back everyone, this is Joe at Forge where I share my passion for creating, building, and racing high performance vehicles. On this channel I do a lot of how-to guides on custom fabrication, product reviews from the vendors that support our builds, as well as toss in some behind the scenes vlogs to show you guys what goes on here at Forge Performance. So if you're new here, thanks for stopping by. And if this is the type of content that you are interested in, please consider subscribing. Now let's get on to the video. Welcome back to the channel everyone, Joe at Forged. We're here with our third part in our video series for the AMS Alpha 9 Audi R8 and Lamborghini Huracan twin turbo kit install. So in the first video, you saw us kind of prep the car for everything that needs to be done on the existing factory systems to accept the turbo kit. And then in the second installment, we mounted the turbochargers themselves to the factory headers with all those adapters. And then we also were able to get all the oil lines, the feed and return, the cooling lines to and from the turbochargers, all of that's installed. And then we moved on to the water tank and water pump assembly that gets uh, mounted in the rear compartment behind the passenger side firewall. So in today's video, we're gonna continue on with that. We're gonna start mounting the intercoolers. You can see one of them's kinda already mocked in there. And then we're gonna move on to the front of the car where the heat exchangers get mounted and we'll mount, remove the front bumper, mount all the heat exchanger stuff and all the lines that need to run to the front and back of the car to hook all that up. So with that, let's get straight into the video. Right, guys that wraps up the intercooler installation that was fairly straightforward but as you can see here there's a lot of uh, the mass airflow sensors are installed all the lines are routed to the intercoolers and then off over to the the pump area that you can see there and then we also got the initial y section situated and that's pretty much where we stop for this portion on the rear of the car. So the next thing you're gonna see us do is uh, move everything around to the front side of the car, we get the front bumper off and start mounting the heat exchangers. All right guys, what you saw there in uh, time-lapse mode, just so we don't bore you to death, is uh, removing the front bumper, the headlights, all the trim pieces onto the the car so you can kind of see there that uh, everything's been removed and now we're on to installing the heat exchangers trimming all the air ducts so that it all still directs the air properly and then we'll move on to installing the lines that go from the heat exchangers in the front all the way to all the rest of the system in the back <laughs> Right, guys the heat exchangers are finally mounted that took a little bit of work there is some differences between R8 and Huracan so we have to adjust just a few things no big deal and then we uh, trim all the air guides to fit with the new heat exchangers that's an optional step but uh, we definitely want to make sure those are all still in there we have seen time and time again when you duct air through the cores 
and force the air to go through. They're much, much more efficient. We've seen that in uh, at test after test on the GTR racing that we've done. So we wanna make sure that we did that right and have as close of a seal as possible. So the next step here is really to run all the lines from the heat exchangers to the back of the car. So we'll pick things back up with uh, some work underneath the car and then we're getting pretty close to being done with this project. guys that was quite the lengthy process but i just want to kind of stop where we're at and show you the progress so you can see the uh, coolers are mounted and ams provides some of this uh, shielding so for abrasive resistance that you put on uh, the hoses so you don't have to worry about anything rubbing holes through you can see kind of just routes from one side to the other and then uh, we'll get the car up in the air and you'll see how it's routed underneath the car and then I'll also come around to the back side here and show you what is, what's going on in the back. With the car up in the air, it kind of makes it a little easier to show you some of the routing of this. So uh, the hoses route around uh, both the front side and then there's more of this um, anti-abrasion stuff that goes anywhere near some clamps or anything. So you don't have to worry about the hoses eventually rubbing a hole through the system. You can see more of that through here they provide uh, all the clamps to keep everything out of the way you just follow it on down and then you know as soon as it gets anywhere near the engine bay then we add the heat coating to keep any of the hot engine bay temperatures around there and that also provides the abrasion protection as well all right guys moving around to the back side you can see all the heat protection that was added to the uh, Y section. So this is uh, goes from the intercooler cores themselves. And then this is what travels up through the tunnel and up to the front heat exchanger, pass through the heat exchangers and then back around to the water tank. All right, guys. So now that we have everything for the heat exchangers mounted, all the hoses and everything are routed from the front to the back and across the front, everything's kind of in the secure spot. Now, the next step is to install the, the air guides that have already been kind of pre-trimmed to uh, fit the heat exchangers and then fit the bumper back on the body. And then we, we know there's probably gonna be a little bit of trimming there because that was all designed to not have those alpha heat exchangers up front. So we're gonna do some fitment and everything and, and hopefully get the bumper and the headlights on uh, without much adjustment. We do know there'll be just a little bit. And then from there, uh, I think we'll be moving back to the back of the car for the next few steps in the build process.
right, guys, we got the bumper reinstalled. Everything's attached. You can see the, the nice Alpha logo is kind of tucked in there behind the bumper and on the passenger side as well. Everything is looking really good. And we're ready to move on to the next step. Okay, that will wrap up our third video in the series. Uh, we pretty much got everything for the intercooler system fully installed. The, the intercoolers themselves, the heat exchangers in the front, and then running all of the associated lines and everything for the system. That took quite a bit of time, so this video isn't quite as exciting as some of the other videos that uh, we've done in the series, but this is a very necessary step, and you can see really how long it takes to run all the lines and make everything be mounted properly. So uh, we're going to do one more video in the series. We'll move uh, to the back of the car next and we'll install the exhaust, the wastegates, the boost control, and then all the associated electronics. And then we're finally going to be able to get to start this thing up and start tuning the car on the uh, factory ECU in partnership with AMS. So with that, we'll see you guys on the next video.